Welcome to D-Lab everybody. On the bench we have a Music Man model 2100-130. It comes to me from Indiana. Reported problem, it blows a fuse as soon as you power it on. So let's give it a visual inspection and see what we can find. For the testing of this Music Man amplifier I'm going to be utilizing this Hioki model DT4256 handheld meter. As you know in the past I've been a fan of Beckman, B&K, and occasionally Fluke, but I noticed on those meters that there was some lag on the update of the digital readout. So a year ago, I located this Hioki meter and they advertised that it had much faster update rate as compared to other meters, and it does. The case has a nice solid feel, good quality switches, I'm very impressed with this meter. So it is now D-Lab's go-to meter. And no, I'm not being paid to show you this. I just wanted to share the information. Okay, let's give the amp a good visual inspection, see if we can spot anything obvious. I have already removed the output tubes and the cap cover for the inspection. So top side, you can see the transformers are all original. Rear panel looks good. The output tube sockets show some signs of heating. These JJ tubes look like they have been in use, but they may be okay. Filter cap assembly, they look original and they look pretty rough. So these will have to be replaced. Alright, let's go bottom side. Alright, bottom side inspection of the Music Man. She pretty much looks stock. I don't see much evidence of any maintenance besides the fact that the power cord has been replaced. Negative bias area, you can see some heating down here by the diodes and this cap especially shows discoloring. So all the electrolytic caps need to be replaced. Other than that, she looks pretty good. So nothing alarming found during our visual inspection, so let's move on to finding that short. So remember, when you're investigating a short circuit, the last thing you want to do is apply full power. The owner stated this thing was clearing a fuse as soon as he powered it up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the output tubes, which I've already done. Then I installed an underrated fuse. The stock fuse is 5 amp. I installed a 2. Then I'm going to use Variac with metering so I can slowly bring up the power and look for that short. So here we go. I've got the Variac connected. Tubes are removed. Standby is off. Main power switch is on. So when I bring up the Variac, you should see little to no amperage on that meter. So you see I can go up to 50 volts there's no current. That's because we have removed all the loads, meaning the output tubes. Now I'm going to turn on standby. We should have the same thing. That current meter should lay close to zero because there's no current path for the high voltage. But look at there. As soon as I bring up the voltage, we have a short. Alright, let's see if we can locate this short. Knowing that the amp blew the fuse immediately upon power application and we also know it's in the high voltage area let's just go ahead and check the output of the rectifiers to ground so this also goes up to the filter capacitors on top of the chassis So right here would be the resistance of the filter caps and the diodes to ground because my standby switch is off you can see we got almost 39 meg, so that is not a short. But what I suspect is since this thing was cycled so many times and possibly overfused, that one of the diodes in the high voltage section has shorted. So I got my high Oki meter set on the diode check. You can see 1.5 volts, that's what it's going to apply to the diode. So if it were shorted, you would see that. If it's good, you'd see approximately 0.5 to 0.7 volts forward bias on the diode. So we'll test the first diode. Your black lead is going to go to the band 
of the diode. Look at there, 0.5 volts. So that diode is not shorted. Let's move over to the other one. Sorry if my hands are getting in the way. Same check. Look at there. This diode is shorted. If you take a look at the schematic, this line right here is going to the standby switch. So if we went back to ohms, I went back to chassis, to that point, we have an open, right? Now I'm going to turn on the standby switch. And we have a short. The diodes are problems. So what we're going to do is change it out and see if our short goes away. So for this demonstration, I have just replaced the one diode. Here is the old diode. You can see it is shorted. I'm going to go back to my chassis to high voltage connection. Standby is on. You can see we do not have a short. So the new diode right now is just tacked in place. He's hiding up under here. So let's go ahead and hook the amp back up to a variac and see if the short situation is gone. Okay, we're going to do the same test as before. I have my standby switch off and the amp is powered. Let's watch our amperage. Same thing, no current. Now I'm going to turn on the standby. This is one we had the short. You can see I'm bringing it up now. Get some slight fluctuation, meaning the filter caps are charging. Let's see if we have high voltage. Right, I'm still on the Variac. You can see the meter is already bleeding down voltage, so I'm just going to go ahead and bump it. You can see we do have high voltage. So at this point, I need to go in and change the filter caps, but we have removed the short from the Music Man amplifier. 